Retro Unboxing. Hello guys, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I am... Um, sorry, I'm distracted. I'm playing on Xbox 360 on Call of Duty Black Ops on my little 14 inch CRT called a monitor. And I'll be honest, it's pretty cool. And this is how we used to have to play on everything back in the uh, back in the 80s. Enemy care baggage but this was kind of Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, Spectrum, that kind of thing. So, you know, to play a game that's got so much detail on a little old monitor like this, it's actually really pretty cool. Quite enjoying it. It's no, it's no detriment. It's kind of no detriment to playing the game. It's, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool as well. It's, I'll show you. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It was quite easy to set up actually because the oh, yeah. Xbox 360 has the uh, the right cables with it to be able to plug it into an old monitor like this. I'm hoping next to be able to get the Xbox One up and running on it. But I've had to order a little dongle thing. So I've ordered I've got one of these already, but it's the wrong way around. So this is uh, HDMI out and uh, component in, uh, and I need it to be the other way around. So I can plug the Xbox 360 in uh, and then component out into the monitor. This is a good laugh. It's pretty sharp. I mean, I'm not doing very well. I'm doing okay. I've got six kills. I've died nine times, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Especially since I've not played a game for a while. But it's a good laugh. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm just bored. I'm sat at home during this coronavirus malarkey and uh, I'm just looking for different things to do and I've been doing a few unboxings um, and I've got a couple of memory cards uh, ready to go. I just need to get them edited. Um, but while I've been doing it I've had this monitor out and I've had uh, a couple of the older consoles out and I just thought well, what would happen if I plugged one of the modern consoles into this old school little monitor? Like I say, it's a good laugh. It's genuinely no no real detriment to the gameplay. I'm not that good at Call of Duty anyway. Where the hell? I think we're going to win this game, guys. 71. Oh no, 71 all. Where do you go? Three. I'm on the winning side. Excellent. 11 kills, 10 deaths, so a positive kill to death ratio on a 14 inch Philips CM8833 Mark II monitor. Quite impressed with that. So uh, now I'm just going to have a quick game on uh, Project, Go uh, Project Gotham Racing 4, PGR4, uh, and I'll show you that as well. And, um, and then the next thing I'm going to do, as I say, is try and get the Xbox One running uh, and have a game online on that. That should be a good laugh. All right, so um, I'll also show you how I've hooked this up. Uh, it's, as I say, it's pretty easy. And um, and yeah, let's get on to Project Gotham Racing. See what that looks like. Now the monitor's also got 
uh, I don't know if any, I'm sure you, some of you guys will remember and some of you won't, but it used to be that um, you could use computers, uh, Amstrads and things like that in particular, in a monochrome, a kind of um, a green, uh, a green look. So I'm just going to have a look at what it looks like in that as well. I've not pressed the button yet. And um, yeah, it should look pretty cool. Uh, well, that's weird. So it's like black and white, but in green tones. That makes sense. So I'm going to see what it's like gaming in uh, in green. So I'm just loading through Project Gotham Racing, the um, the kind of loading screen. Yes, yeah, it looks really it looks really good. I know this is going to sound weird, but it's like playing on a, a big I, I, iPad or PS Vita or something like. That. It's got a really it's got a real nice quality to it. I don't mean quality as in like oh yeah, 4K is great quality, but it's just got a it's got something about it that's actually quite cool to play on. Right, let's get a game going. This is cool. I'm enjoying it. I'd recommend it if you can get hold of an old an old school monitor. See what you can get up and running on it. I'm just going to get a game up and running. So I'm going to use the trusty Sierra RS Cosworth. Bit of a, a, a more 80s, more 80s throwback. I, I can't, I can't get any more 80s than this. Sierra Cosworth on a Philips 14-inch CRT monitor. <laughs> This looks really good. So it's in sort of all right, full screen. Nothing's nothing's missing. The quality is very good. It's really fast. There's no motion blur. So you get a lot of motion blur with an LCD. But unless you're using a you know a pretty good gaming monitor. But, you know a lot of people just use a, a TV, especially with Xboxes and things. And this looks really good, really sharp. It's in, uh, it's good, it's really nice. I mean, I can't drive to save my life, but. Second, boom. So there you go. Gaming, modern gaming, modern console gaming on an old school CRT monitor. Do it, have some fun, it's a good laugh. Thanks for watching. Retro, unboxing.